because it can get very discouraging. And I know because I'm not in competition with anyone but myself. What I want to do personally is be better than what I was the previous year. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for some key. My name is Crystal and I am the candle making stylist. So just a little bit about myself. I am a candle maker slash channeler here in Tennessee. I've been candle making for about four years now. And at the start of 2020, It's when I decided to relaunch my brand. I did a whole big rebranding. So with me, I am a hairstylist turned candle maker. And I also have a nine to five. So yes, I am a busy, busy, busy lady. But this year I decided that I wanted to pursue my journey on a bigger level. I wanted to basically turn my hobby into an actual business. As far as candle making goes, I'm pretty sure other candle makers um, would agree that it's not an easy task. Candle making may seem easy, but it's really not. So just to say, I've had going on four years of experience with the ups and the downs, the trials and tribulations, just about every problem that could come up making candles, I've came across. So another thing is, I started out as a soap maker. Yes, I am a soap maker at heart. But when I started my journey as a soap maker, I didn't know much and I still don't know a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm learning every day as I go on about marketing. So I came up with my own recipe. It was tried and true. I used the products every single day. I had a, a certain amount of customers that shop with me on a regular basis as far as the soap making went. The only thing was I, I couldn't scale my soap business. And that was basically because of my lack of knowledge in marketing and you know, just getting the product in front of the right people in front of my ideal clients. So that's a lot that I have dibbled and dabbled in and learned and researched about on this four year journey of mine. So yes, I started off with the soap making, turned to the candle making. So a little bit about my backstory. Like I say, I'm a hairstylist, I'm a candle maker, and I also have a nine to five. I think it was in 20, 17 I got injured at work um, I had to have surgery on my back and my knee that kind of put me down for about two years yeah about two years to be exact I was off work now prior to this I have always been a lover of all things in it I just from back in the day incense I burned incense 
24-7. Those big, long, thick incense. I burnt those everywhere. I used to stick them above the door frames and all of that stuff in my mother in my parents house growing up so i am a lover of all things scented that's just to sum it up so when it came to candles i have always loved candles candles were something that me my mother my aunts my dad all of us we love candles we like we all love for the house to smell good, the room smell good. I mean, who doesn't want to walk into a house that smells delicious? Or So, one of the things that we used to do as a family, the big flea market used to come, I think, the third weekend of every month back then. We would go as a family every month when it came and the only booth or booths that I went to were the ones with the oil burners, um, the candles, the wax melts, like all of that. And do you know what? As a matter of fact, they didn't even have wax melts then. Back then, they had the oil burners and they sold the bottles of the fragrance oil and you just poured the fragrance oil over into the oil burner and then i remember them coming out with the little pieces of wax that you just stick inside of the oil so that i guess you know once the oil gave off all of the scent and you turned it off it would just harden into the wax and it'll make for an easy cleanup so thus nowadays we have the wax milk but yes y'all this how far back my love for scented wax products or products goes a couple of months into that two-year period where i had to be off for medical leave while i had to undergo those two major surgeries that i underwent it became harder and harder for me to purchase candles like just to be honest i just i didn't have the money to to sacrifice to to even purchase the candles the way that i normally did i couldn't walk for a period of time a quite a long period of time i couldn't walk without you know crutches and things like that so i just used to sit there on youtube and one day i was just like i can't buy any candles what did I made them? So I started looking up things on the, on Google and on YouTube to see it what what would it be more affordable if I were to make the candles myself. And to my surprise, you know, of course, back then candle making was a little bit cheaper than what it is today. Inflation is real. Like everything, the prices for everything has skyrocketed. But I did a lot a lot of research for probably like a year i did nothing but research i bought a couple of candle kits and played around with some things i got a candle making kit from like hobby lobby but yeah i, I played around with a couple of different candle kits just to see if candle making is something that i would really be interested in and to my surprise i loved it then just like i said i am a hairstylist I make body butters, I make a hair growth oil recipe of my own. Guys, I do a lot of things. There's um, even quite a few more endeavors that I have endured over the last past 10 years. I'm just a maker of all things. I'll get into a little bit more about the other things that I used to make in the past and show some footage and pictures of my creations. So please, if you haven't so far, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. This is a journey that I would love to share as I go. Like I said, I'm four years in. I really, really wish that I would have took more footage of my journey from the very beginning. I have a few pictures and everything from my 
old social media page that I will be showing you all is you know a comparison to how I started out and where I'm at today and in between the process you know all of that I also plan on sharing educational tips when it comes to candle making candle making is a lot of information to absorb and it's nothing that you're gonna grasp overnight or in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks still to this day I am learning things that I didn't know like every day is a learning experience and I am happy that I didn't rush the process now, like I previously stated I did a whole relaunch this year and I feel like any candle maker is probably gonna go through quite a few redesigns you're gonna change your name a couple of times let's hope not that's why I say don't rush guys because in the beginning I did a lot of research for the first year and then that second year I really tapped into more of a hands-on approach and going through the different trials and tribulations and the dreaded testing phases I have tried multiple types of waxes when it comes to waxes it's gonna be a personal choice if you see another fellow candle maker that's successful with the materials and the wax and the wicks that they're currently using for their candle line it doesn't mean that you would be able to have the exact same success out of that product there's a lot of variables that goes into candle making and just something as simple as just like me i'm down south it's hot here versus someone up north that's a candle maker that could be using the exact same wax as me the exact same wicks they purchase their fragrance oils from the same supplier or company as i do we're using the same jars our results still would not be identical and it would be just because of the small variable of the temperature difference it's hot here and it's cold there just that one variable makes a difference in your finished products when you're candle making the temperature of the room that you're making candles in makes a difference in your finished product y'all it's so much that goes into candle making y'all excuse me this is my husband Kyle. i'll be right back okay y'all i apologize it was only maybe a split second for y'all but my husband just got off work was calling to let me know that he was on his way home excuse me one minute i'm kind of parched drinking one of my all-time favorites i probably have one of these every other day but it's a pink drink from starbucks add whipped cream <laughs> that's my personal touch to it but like i was saying y'all it's a lot of variables that goes into candle making so i just wanted to start this youtube journey i'm not gonna say that i'm disappointed in myself but I really wish that I would have started recording my journey four years ago. I have been contemplating back and forth with myself with starting a YouTube channel since 2018. To be honest with you all, fear was the main thing that stopped me from doing that. I've had a ring light all the different iPhones that I could just record content on, uh, selfie sticks, like all of that. I even have some old videos that I kind of practice recording myself with and I just, I was never comfortable with posting them. Now, so I am an introvert, I'm a very shy person. I'm a, I'm a behind the scenes type of person. So I like to do things with my hands. I'm not good at public speaking I'm not you know but I'm working on it it is something that it it is a skill that I want to develop and build on so here goes nothing and I would love for you all 
to follow along with this journey of mine. I remember when I first started back in 2017, when I started my research, there wasn't as much research on candle making back then as it is here today in 2022. Oh, and in case anyone was wondering, it is Tuesday, June 28th. 2022 2017 that's when i started my research i researched probably like for that whole year back then it was a little bit discouraging trying to decide whether or not i even wanted to make candles and that was because the whole industry thing would keep everything to yourself nobody really wanted to share anything like there wasn't a lot of help all the different successful candle companies and candle makers today that are sharing their road to success their industry secrets you know there's even candle makers that will give you their exact formula none of that was really going on when I first started researching I just you know I remember how I felt back then and how hard it was for me to get the knowledge that was needed. And it took me so long to develop enough knowledge and go through enough trial and error to even come up with a workable and usable safe product. Me being me, it's like I've already done a lot of the research and the work. So why not share it? I'm all about helping people you guys if there's anything that you all want me to discuss or talk about on this channel please let me know my business contact information will be in the description box below you can shoot me an email you can leave me a comment one of my number one goals is to respond to every single comment that's left on any of the videos that I do. I wanna help as many people as I can. If I can help one person, that will make me feel wonderful. I wanna be of service to the future candle makers or the up and coming candle makers because it can get very discouraging. And I, I know. relaunched my business over the last four years, this will be like my third time rebranding and relaunching. I'll put in some photos and everything of my different rebrands and everything over the years. And then you all can visit my website. The link is in the description below and you can see what my current products look like. This is an experience. It's a journey. It's not a race. Like there are so many other candle makers that inspire me. I don't feel like they're competition because I'm not in competition with anyone but myself. What I want to do personally is be better than what I was the previous so on year. and so forth. I want to do better than what I did last year. Next year, I want to do better than what I'm doing this year. I want to continue to build on the foundation of my business. My business is my baby. I have been molding and nurturing and developing my business for four years now. And it is something that means a lot to me. I just want to share that with you all. If you all are interested in checking out any of my products or if you want to support my business, the website will be in the description below. The website is litbycrystal.com. I guess that's all. I'll catch you all on the next one.